Today we learn about HDFS. HDFS is an Hadoop distributed file system designed to run on commodity systems that is low cost systems. HDFS supports large data files. Application run on HDFS have large data sets. Typical file in HDFS is from gigabytes to terabytes in size. It scales to hundreds of nodes in a single cluster. HDFS follows master-slave architecture. Two main components of HDFS are name node and data node. We will see each one by one. Name node. Name node acts as a master node and stores all information about Hadoop file system. There will be one node per cluster. You could see in the picture of this HDFS cluster. You could find only one name node in each cluster. Cluster is a single logic unit consisting of multiple computers that are linked through LAN. As a name node acts as a master node, it generally knows all information about allocated and replicated block in a cluster. Block is nothing but breaking the large file into small pieces. Name node also knows about free blocks that has to be allotted next. It provides information about newly added, modified and removed data from data node. Name node executes file system operations like opening, closing, renaming files and directories. Next is the data node. Blocks are stored in data node. Data node has no knowledge about HDFS file system. It stores each block in a separate file. Data blocks are replicated across multiple data nodes and access is managed by name node. Since data blocks are replicated across several data nodes, failure of one system may not affect the process. Here comes fault tolerance. You, in, uh, you could see the picture. You could find how block 2 are replicated in different manner. Main task of data node. It stores a block in HDFS. It acts as a platform for running a job. Data node also performs block creation, deletion and replication upon the instruction from the data node. Initially, data node performs handshake with name node. It checks for accurate namespace ID. If found, connect to name node. If not, loses the connection. Each data node maintains current status of the block in its node and generate the block report. After every hour, data node sends the block report to name node and hence always have updated information about the data node. Every 10 minutes, data node sends heartbeat signal to name node. Due to this, name node knows which data node are functioning. If name node does not receive heartbeat from data node, it assumes data nodes are lost and generates the replica of the data node. HDFS architecture You all would have known about uh, name node and data node. 
now we'll see writing file to hdfs and reading file from hdfs look at the picture now we'll see writing file to hdfs client ask name node that it want to write a file name node tells which blocks are free so client write in free blocks of the data node thus writing file to hdfs is performed next reading file from hdfs client interact with name node to get block location name node sent address of block that holds the data and also the address of the replicated block after getting the information after getting the information client reads the data from data node advantages of hdfs it is platform independent hdfs is designed to easily portable from one platform to another it has very high bandwidth that is large amount of information that can be transmitted over a network in a given amount of time cost effective it is 100% open source hdfs uses commodity system that is low cost system to store the data so hdfs is cost effective parallel processing it has the ability to process large amount of data in parallel at last fault tolerance it has high fault tolerance hdfs automatically recovers from system failures